Hello friends, welcome. I'm your friend, your host Roy. You know we are talking about Series 1 Real Numbers. This is episode number 14. And today friends, we are going to explore a special relationship that exists between HCF and LCM of any given numbers. And you will see it is only between two numbers. So now HCF we have seen in the last few videos. HCF is nothing but highest common factor. It's important to note sometimes HCF is also referred to as GCF. So simply by replacing the word highest with greatest. So you will see instead of HCF you can write GCF. They mean the same thing. So HCF means largest number that divides all the given numbers. So for example if I have let's say 10 and 25. If these are my two given numbers then HCF of these two number will mean such a number, such a largest number that can divide 10 and also divide 25, right? Now, also we have seen friends in the last few uh, videos, what is LCM? LCM is nothing but lowest common multiple. So, smallest number that can be divided into by all the given numbers. If I have to find out the LCM of 10 and 25, I am going to find out such a number, such a number, I don't know what that number is, but this number, I can divide this number by 10 and my remainder will be 0. Also, if I divide the same number by 25, my remainder will be 0. So, smallest such number that can be fully divided by 10 and 25. That is what is meant by LCM. So, let's find out what is this special relationship we are talking about. Let's take an example and then find this out. So let's say, I think, why don't we stick with our example of, you know, let's take the same two, same two, two numbers, 10 and 25. Now, so the first step is uh, we have to find out HCF and LCM. So first step in finding out HCF is 10 can be written as 2 times 5. We have to find out the common factors. So we have to write the prime factors for each of the numbers, 25 will be equal to 5 times 5. So HCF means we find out the common factor and then we pick the smallest power. So the common factor between these two is the factor 5, right, because 5 exists in both 10 and 25. And what is the smallest power? So here 5 power of 5 is 1 and here power of 5 is actually 2. So we have to pick the smallest power which is power 1. So 5 power 1 will be 5. So the HCF of these two numbers is the number 5. Now let's find out the LCM. Again to do LCM we need to find out the prime factors. We, which we just did. So we are not going to do it again. So 10 is 2 times 5, 2 times 5 and 25 is 5 to the power 2. Now re you remember that uh, to find LCM what we do is we list out all prime factors. So for 10, I have 2 and 5, 2 and 5, and for 25, I have 5. So between 2 and 5, all the prime factors are covered. And then we pick the highest or the greatest power. So for 10, 2 is raised to the power 1, so power 1. And for 5, for 10, there is power is 5, uh, power is 1 for 5. And for 25, the power is 2. So we are going to pick the highest power between 1 and 2, so it will be 2. So it means the LCM is 2 to the power 1 multiplied by 5 to the power 2, which is nothing but 2 multiplied by 25, which is 50. Now, notice one interesting thing. If you look at HCF and if you multiply HCF by LCM, so what happens? HCF is 5, multiply that by 50 LCM. What do we get? 
so we get 250 right now if you multiply the two numbers directly what do you get 10 times 25 is nothing but 250 so friends this is the unique relationship that exists if you take any two numbers two composite numbers not three or four or any other number only two numbers if you take any two numbers if you find their HCF if you find their LCM HCF times LCM will be nothing but the product of those two numbers so we write this in this fashion so to just generally state it for any two positive integers a and b HCF of a and b multiply by LCM of a and b will be nothing but the product of the two numbers now let's let's take this let's take an example so what about if we have three such numbers right let's let's write um, let's say 10 is one number let's say 14 is our second number and let's say um, thinking of one other number maybe like 24 so these are our three numbers let's say if the rule exists if it is valid even for three numbers so we will first find out the HCF for these three numbers so 10 can be written as 2 to the power 5 Four, sorry 2 times 5 14 can be written as 2 times 7 and 24 can be written as 2 times 12 12 I can write that as so 24 is 2 times 12 12 I can write that as 4 times 3 which is nothing but so 2 to the power 3 because 4 has 2 2 so 2 to the power 3 times 3 so now HCF for 10 14 and 24 is I'm looking to find out the common factor so between 10 and 14 2 is common and then in 24 also I have 2 so 2 is one of the common factors now is 5 common to all 3 no 5 exists only for 10 no 5 in 14 and no 5 in 24 what about 7 there are no 7s in 10 and there are no 7 in 24 what about 3 3 exists only in 24 but not in 10 and 14 so 2 is really the only common factor prime number that exists prime factor and what is the lowest power here the power is 1 power is 1 and for 24 power is 3 we are looking for the lowest power which is power 1 so the HCF will be only the number 2 what about the LCM so when we say LCM we are looking at all the prime factors so for 10 I have 2 and 5 I'm not repeating the prime factors again because we just did that so now for LCM I am listing out all the prime factors right so for 10 I have 2 and 5 then 14 I get an extra 7 and for 24 I have a 3 and remember for LCM we are trying to find out the largest power or the highest power so for 2 I have got power 1 power 2 and power 3 so for LCM I am mm. listing out the highest power for uh, for each prime factor for 5 highest is 1 7 highest is 1 and for 3 highest is 1 so my LCM is 2 to the power 3 which is 8 times 5 7 is 35 times 3 so this is my LCM right now if you were to multiply this let us just do that so I have HCF this and I have LCM this right so if I multiply this basically what will happen is so HCF times LCM LCM equal to so this number right 8 
times 35 times 3 times 2 right so we will multiply these two together so let's just do this multiplication uh, we are going to multiply 2 and 35 together 70 and 8 and 3 so 24 times 70 right so I mean let's just quickly do it here 24 times 7 is 7 fours are 28 to carry over 7 fours are 14 7 twos are 14 to 16 1 6 8 0 so if you multiply these two you get 1 6 8 0 now if you multiply these numbers together what do you get so let's do it so we have 24 times 14 so 14 14 fours are 56 6 14 twos are 28 and 5 is going to be 28 and 5 will be 33 33 and multiply 10 it will be 0 right so if you multiply all of them together you will get this you will get 3360 which is not equal to 1680 so again remember that this special relationship what we saw earlier right the special relationship that we saw earlier it applies only for two positive integers so if there are only two numbers then that relationship holds good but if there are more than two numbers then that relationship doesn't hold good now what kind of questions can you expect so for, you may be asked that if HCF of two numbers and we have given like one number 252 and 70 if the HCF of two numbers is 14 find out the LCM without really actually doing LCM or the same question can be asked this way if HCF of these two numbers equals 14 find out the LCM of the same numbers and what you will do is that you know if there are only two numbers you know that HCF right so HCF which is so you know that HCF equal to uh, HCF multiplied by LCM is equal to 70 multiplied by 252 so if HCF is given as 14 so this becomes 14 multiplied by LCM equals to 70 times 252 or LCM of these two numbers will be nothing but 70 times 252 divided by 14 now we know that 14 fives are 70 so it is nothing but 252 times 5 which is 5 to the 10 1 25 26 to 10 12 so this will be 1 2 6 0 so without actually doing the LCM we can say using this relationship we can say that LCM will be actually equal to 1 2 6 0 and friends you can definitely go ahead and try it yourself and and make sure that this is indeed the LCM of the numbers 252 and 70